So it's Wednesday afternoon. It is June 10th and I figured I'd start the next vlog before I package up this furry blob. I love this sculpture. It's small, it's mighty, uh, but I love it. And it, I did this in acrylic. Um, so it's ceramic and then finished with acrylic paint versus glazes and such. So that's how I got the nice colors and stuff. Other thing I wanted to show is this mug is finally done. Sorry, my dog is barking at the world, but I'm just so happy with how it came out. It, um, originally the mother of pearl had came out blue, which means the bottle that I was using or the brush I was using was contaminated. So I had to fire it off. Originally I fired it to 06. It did not come off fully, even though that's what I have read that that's what you would fire to. It got rid of the gold, uh, but didn't get rid of the mother of pearl. So I just took it straight to cone six instead. I was just like, well, if 06 isn't gonna work, I'll just go straight to glaze fire temp, which is way hotter. Um, and that worked fine. And I had bought a new bottle and it worked out great. So I had to redo the gold and the mother of pearl came out so beautiful. Um, I haven't let this customer know yet. Um, I wanna photograph it nicey nice like with my camera, my big camera and everything first. Um, yeah, it just, <laughs> I love it so much. Um, let's see what else has happened. I think the last time I vlogged was like literally a month ago, like beginning of May. And then I just sort of either felt busy with house stuff, not so much to vlog, or like I wasn't really doing much of anything worth talking about. I was in a rut. Last week here in the United States, it's a, it was like um, a resurgence of the Black Lives Matter movement, right? Um, unfortunately, George Floyd died a horrific death and the whole world felt it. And it's, something that happens a lot for the black community, um, police brutality and such. Um, but this is like the first time that everyone else is waking up to it. And I mean, it's like, ugh, it pains me to say that it's better late than never, but I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just glad that other people are waking up to the type of violence that black people suffer. I mean, I do benefit from my lighter skin. I'm half black, half Puerto Rican. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm still black and I present black. Um, I still face a lot of the same discrimination that black people face because everyone can tell that I'm black. So, I mean, I won't go too much further into it here. I'd rather just record a separate video about being black artist. A different video because I feel like that deserves its own space. Um, but yeah, so last week I took part in some protests, uh, both in my hometown and in the next city over, which is a bigger city um, in New Haven. And the Amplified Melanated Voices, um, I guess challenge on Instagram brought a lot more interest to the type of work that I make. And that it was, it was really cool. Um, still a little overwhelmed. Don't know how to handle it all quite yet. Um, but it brought an influx of orders, um, which I'll be donating most of the profits to probably CT bail fund. I'll double check and make sure to see if they still are accepting donations because a lot of the different bailout funds I've noticed have been saying, we have enough, here are some other things that you can donate to. So, my dog. <laughs> um, beyond the bailout funds of various local things like either Connecticut, oh gosh, Moose. Anyways, so I'll be donating to either the bailout funds that need it 
whether it's Connecticut, New York City, um, I think Minnesota's fine now. Um, but yeah, either those or something that benefits black trans people is what I'd want to do because it's Pride Month. Any hoosies, mostly I'm a little bit sad that this sculpture found a home. <laughs> I mean, I priced it to where it needed to be and kind of thought, oh, maybe no one will buy it, but someone did. And this one has a friend, which is this guy. So a little abstract. I guess you can consider these like, I don't know. I see them as abstract paintings, um, but in blob form. So I'm glad that it has a home, but that just means now I need to make another one, so I'm not sad about it. <laughs> Hi, um, it's Friday, June 12th, and I'm photographing the candy mug that I showed you guys um, a few days ago. I'm photographing it, and I had photographed it yesterday, but I wanted to make sure that I make full use of it before it is with where it belongs to be and i wanted to photograph it with a bunch of candy so when i went to the post office to drop off a bunch of the packages that i've been packaging all week um i stopped at cbs and bought a bunch of candy <laughs> um to photograph it with and i'll be sending the majority of this candy or at least the ones that are wrapped and not, not the loose candy because that's not sanitary um be sending a lot of the candy to the customer um, that bought this mug so um, I just wanted to show you guys that because I think it's heckin cute <laughs> can you guys see it it's adorable I love it so much all the f I photographed a bunch of older work that hasn't been photographed before <laughs> um, because I'm still looking through and seeing um, like stuff that I had for shows, what can go up on my website and slowly going through that library of stuff. Um, other than that, these stickers came in. They're so cute. This was done with Posca pens when I was just like playing around with them. So I really like how these came out. And then, uh, where are they? Do I have them around? Yeah, I do. These two. Some of my gouache paintings I did a year or two ago. And I keep meaning to continue this series, and I just haven't yet. Hopefully soon. When I feel like sitting down and painting, I'll get these done. Every time I come outside to let out moose, I look at my plants as if maybe they've grown since the last time I've looked at them, which was maybe four hours ago, less than. I know it's not that they haven't, but 
I still like to check on them. Here's my hopefully not dead lemon tree. Squash, cucumbers, blueberry plant. This one's new. Um, I have peas, some basil, but we also have more peas, peppers, peppers. One of these is super spicy and one is like regular. I don't remember which. Tomato, more basil. Old sculptures that I don't know what to do with so they're here. This rake is to keep moose out, my dog. And this part right now is filled with weeds and I need to get more dirt. But uh, yeah, it's growing. Hopefully at some point I'll finish up planting some stuff over here and I can move the rake. Otherwise this guy wants to hop in there and kick stuff up. Ain't that right Moose? <laughs> Hi, so it's Monday and I just bought more plants and I bought a watermelon plant to finish out the my raised beds, which I'm kind of excited for. It might be a bad idea because melons and squashes tend to just like take over the entire raised bed. At least that's what happened to me last year. I guess we'll see. Now I just need to go grocery shopping and then yeah, I'll probably do some gardening, which is great. Hi, so it's the next day and it is like six o'clock. Um, I ended up staying up till 11 working on mugs um, just to fill the kiln with as much as possible. And today I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more pots, right? Did I count right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, nine more pots. Um, so hopefully my shop update next week will go well um but i am going to end the vlog here wait I'm not gonna end it yet i'm gonna show you some stuff so i'll move this out the way um since it is june i was just like oh i have been wanting to make the next few outer planets sailor scouts so I was like, perfect opportunity to make Uranus oops, and Neptune. And then the other pots are just faces, some teeth, some happy guys. But yeah, I'm really excited about um, these two because they were lovers, not cousins or whatever the American version tries to say. Um, but yeah, so I have a bunch of dice mugs. Only other thing other than dice mugs, as you see, it saw me working on were the uh, presents. So it should be a good shop update, hopefully. Um, the only thing is, I'm not sure when I'm gonna do this bisque firing. I guess we'll find out. I don't know. It'll work out. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay. So I'll end the vlog. 
Thank you so much for watching. Um, see you guys next time.